Well, he has started this year on the Champ Car World Series by dominating, winning the first three races, and it looks like tomorrow he has no intent to slow down. Sebastian Bourdais puts it on the pole today at the Milwaukee Mile. And Sebastian, tell me a little bit about your run today. You guys made some adjustments in the car earlier this morning. How did that change things for you? Oh, we changed very few things between yesterday and, and today, and I think uh, the Magnus team starts to get a hand on what we need to have, and, and more importantly, probably what you can't and shouldn't do. You know, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy for the boys. It's been 11 years since Newman has racing started on the front row and on pole, and it's a one and two today with Bruno on my side, and it feels very good. And you had mentioned the uh, last time that Newman Haas sat on the pole here, you were how old? Six years old, so it's 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 a long time ago. I'm 27. Well, that puts things in perspective. This kind of is Newman Haas home track. Tell me a little bit about uh, some of the things you're looking forward to, to tomorrow. What's going to be the key to trying to bring it home in first place for your fourth consecutive race win? Well, you know, I, I think this this place is difficult. Uh, we worked really hard. We brought the car to the next level. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's going to be good enough but that you only can check it out when the race starts, and it's kind of too late to make any adjustments. So. I think uh, we had a pretty good representation of what the conditions were going to be uh, tomorrow for the race. Um, the car felt good, so hopefully it will stay the same. All right, Sebastian Bourdais, good luck and thanks much. There he is, folks. He's your pole winner for the Milwaukee 225, sitting on the pole tomorrow. Reporting in West Dallas, Jim Winchester, CBS 58.